Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mr. J for President, and in this video I'm going to show you how to bypass the password pattern on an Android device. This is a Samsung Galaxy S from Verizon Wireless, and uh, as you can see it has the pattern passcode to, to use the phone, and as you can see I just don't remember how to what the pattern is and normally it gives you five tries to to try to remember but in this case I don't at all so what I'm gonna do is show you a way to uh, get the full functionality of the phone and you know just use it to make calls and stuff like that uh, the one thing to keep in mind though this method would require you to erase every single thing in your phone like apps, music, and contacts, but I mean, I think it's worth it because you, you'll get your full functionality back if all other methods are unsuccessful. So what you do is hold both the volume up and down and power button, and first choose the option to power off, of course, and you just continue to hold both Alright, just let it, you know, shut off, wait 5 seconds, and then hold both the volume up and down and power button. And this should pop up on the screen. Should be like one or two times. and then release the power button and continue to hold the volume up and down and you should be greeted with this screen here and it should give you the option to reboot system now apply sim card wipe data in factory reset and wipe cache partition and what you want to do is wipe data in factory reset and press the home button on your device and it'll give you a are you sure option meaning this will be the like the warning before you go ahead and, re and erase every single thing that's on this phone and to confirm you will want to press the volume up and it should do its thing and in a couple of minutes a couple of seconds actually will help you get back to the same screen and what you want to do now is reboot reboot system now using the home button and it should restart itself now it should come back back to the Samsung screen and it should be as if, if you were gonna turn on your phone and uh, the first time while well, well after you do this it'll take a while for it to reboot to the home screen and all that stuff because it'll be like as if it were coming out of the box but that's how you do it guys. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.